This is a dropper. It can suck in any liquid and drop it. But how can it do that? To explain that, I decided to do a small activity. Things needed for this activity are a glass filled with colored water and a dropper. For the colored water, I am mixing ink in water. One hour later. Take the dropper, move it into the glass filled with colored water and press it. You will see small bubbles coming out of the dropper. These are the air molecules present inside the dropper that rush out when you press the dropper. And when you press it, area inside the dropper decreases and the pressure inside it increases. As the molecules are having less space to travel, so they start moving out of the hole and these bubbles are formed. The area inside the dropper decreases because the black rubber like thing reduces its size when pressed. Now stop pressing it but don't move it. Now you will see that the dropper is sucking up water and you can tell that by seeing the blue color of the colored water. This happens because when you pressed the dropper earlier, all of the air molecules inside it went outside. So now there is a vacuum as there are very less molecules inside the dropper and it sucks up water molecules due to diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of substance from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. When you press the dropper again, something similar happens, but this time the water molecules go out instead of air molecules that went out earlier. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you understood that how does a dropper work.